Jonathan Carroll, the unofficial, I'm not sure why you have to be unofficial, the huh. unofficial... Because there's important people. Well, you're the unofficial no. chief operating officer of Goa. No, no, I just, I just help in operations quite a bit. I run music and events for us. Those are, that's not my big deal in Goala. It's uh, day to day. I do things like polish our airstream, which is operations, I guess. But yeah, day, the rest of the time I work on music and, opera, and uh, events for Goala. So Jonathan, um, we're at the SF Music Tech Conference, one of the three largest music events of the year. What, what does Gowala have to do with the music business? What is your initiative in music? So it's, and I've been asked that question a lot today. Uh, one of the big things for us, you know, if you go to our website and you're signing up trying to figure out what's Gowala, we talk a lot about, we want you to be able to use Gowala to discover things and to do things that are interesting and remarkable. Not just check in at Starbucks when you buy a latte, but do something that's meaningful that you're gonna remember. And that's not meaningful when you check into Starbucks? <laughs> You know, maybe maybe there's a way it can be meaningful, but long term, I don't know if you're gonna. I, I don't know if I'm gonna remember the latte I had today ten years from now. So things that things are ten years from now, I'm gonna think, you know, that was remarkable. Uh, and music, obviously, is a big intersection there, and uh, it's something that we are trying to have more and more for music and events be an integral part of the experience. And we've seen that in the last several months, uh, not just with some of the things we've done with bands like Weezer and Jimmy Eat World and Josh Ritter, and at the moment like Freelance Wales and some uh, bunch of great people like that, but even with events like Comic Con last year and uh, Sundance Film Festival uh, earlier this year, we were one of the like the guest co-sponsors of, and it was a big part of the data feed if you were in Park City. So we're having a lot more of those events and music related things be part of the service. So why should a music fan be on Gowala? Why does that enrich the music <coughs> experience? Well, we feel like there's definitely a two-way road right there. Um, and we're looking at it from the perspective of what could an artist or a musician bring to the fans at, at this point. And what we're seeing a lot of people do and use the service for a lot of the bands and the labels is try to make a concert experience have a little bit of a tech interactive remarkable layer to it so that you might uh, for instance uh, recently with freelance whales they had a full tour featured on Gowal and so that obviously they had a custom stamp and, and you know some things like that badges that are important uh, as a visual but what they wound up doing is having um, if you checked in at the show then you got a special message from the band you got an email from them you also got some free music uh, and uh, we just really feel like you know that's um, that's definitely something right now that is something social media is offering for sure in the music world. It's the ability to have a more meaningful interaction with your favorite band. Is the future of geolocation inevitably these vertical markets? You know, I don't, I don't know. I think we're at a, an interesting point. Of like two years after the birth of Gowala and Foursquare on the same day, and then you've suddenly got all these other players uh, in the field. Uh, you see Groupon buying World. You obviously Facebook Places has been out for quite a while now, and they've got you know 200 million people on mobile. Um, I think we're at an interesting crossroads right now to figure out well, what is the future of geolocation look at all going forward? You know, there, there definitely been things that the space has used like badges and and mayorships or whatever, um, pins that we like in Gowalla that are kind of a shiny object that now we're moving beyond that. Okay, you're on Gowalla. Why do you stay on any of the social networks um, in a meaningful way? So we're definitely trying to, we're looking at that saying, okay, it's going to be those remembrances, those experiences, that trip you took or that time you were out with friends that was super meaningful. The experiential economy, the intimate economy. Mm -hmm. Exactly. When I think of a Gowala, of course, I think of Facebook Places and, and, and Foursquare as well. What's different about what you're doing? You know, we have, um, there, there obviously are so many ways that you could hit a check-in button right now if you wanted to. And one of the main ones uh, that we are really trying to hone right now is truly about experience and trying to have it be more about a story that you tell, that you are, you're having a dialogue with your friends through Gowala, through what we call the passport, or even just through pushing it out to Foursquare or Tumblr or Twitter or Facebook right now and maybe having it be less about I check in everywhere I go and more about this meaningful moments and we're honestly we're going through that right now of, of looking at things like music and saying okay how can we make that more evident within Gual so that people can find those experiences and have them and then more easily share them right now. And we're definitely trying to have that be a priority right now for Gowala. And you might not find that on Facebook places. What does Gowala and perhaps some of the other location companies, what is the biggest challenge that they have to figure out in the next year or two? If they're to break through, if they're to become 
the next Twitter or Facebook? I, I think the, um, you know, for our, ourselves and for Foursquare or anybody else that's in the space and wanting to survive in the next 12 months, 18 months, I think it does come down to um, how can we make the, a person using our service, uh, what is their interaction? You know, is it on a mobile phone? Is it on koala.com, foursquare.com? I think that our small little space as a whole, we have to figure out, okay, how is that truly adding meaning to somebody's life? Uh, how is it giving them a value that is uh, beyond just kind of, oh, you know, I th that latest Facebook app I installed and I played for six months and I don't use anymore. Um, how do we truly add meaning that is, um, you know, it's going to be historic for them. It's going to be something that they think about later. It's going to be something that they routinely go to as a homepage or their app. And I think we're all on, you know, we're kind of in the, in the same group, but I think we're slowly seeing some, um, you know, we're, we want to emerge on the level of somebody being able to use Koala as a way basically of life tracking and figuring out, okay, how do I tell my story best? How do I share those moments the best? Final question, life tracking is going to scare a lot of people. Yeah, and I, I said that. I've never said that word before. And you said um, it on TechCrunch. Yeah, I know. Like Sorry, millions TechCrunch. Millions of audience. Live tracking. I, uh, yeah. Live tracking? I'm not going to live track. <clears throat> Maybe track is probably not the right word. More of like that idea of, of journaling, live journaling, of keeping those, uh, those momentous times together where I can take a look back and later and say, okay, I, I see on my 30th birthday two years ago, you know, that, that's where everybody was all at once. There's all the photos. There, even from, you know, taking a look at um, integrations with Twitter and Facebook and even Foursquare, uh, being able to say, there's all that media all together at once. Um, so yeah, it's A, we'll never say live tracking again, other than the one you I just, just said. said other than what I just said. <laughs> I'm up to four now. And, and then B, looking at, okay, how do we effectually um, help you keep a track of, of that and then and share um, share those moments with others that you want to. Jonathan, thank you so much. Thank you, Andrew.